What's up, family? Peace and blessings. Peace and blessings. Mark the Messenger. This video is going to be about seven ways how to stop masturbating biblically. And it's hopefully these verses I could give you guys could inspire you, uplift you, and help you stay on the path God has placed you on. And always understand this. When you're masturbating or watching porn, there is zero benefits to doing that. Don't be fooled by these scientists or anything like that. It is zero benefits. You're wasting your seed, um, you know, and you got to always keep that in mind. Like, when you're doing that type of stuff spiritually, you can open up doors, you know, into your household, into your life, into your spirit. Okay, so always understand that these verses I'm going to give you over um, this. Hopefully, you know, because remember, the Bible says the word is a sword of the spirit to help you fight against spiritual warfare, to help you fight against these demons and help you fight against your flesh. Now, I'll make this very clear. We all fall short. We're all going to sometimes give an over temptation. That's just the truth. But we understand that we're going to win the war more knowing that we know the Bible, we have the spirit, the Holy Spirit, and we know the, the path that God has placed us on. And we know that the rewards that come with um, being on Seamer Retention. I have over like 70 videos on Seamer Retention. If you guys, if you brothers want to check that out, just type on the YouTube search bar, Mark the Messenger, Seamer Retention. And um, I have like tons of videos on that. So these are seven biblical ways how to stop masturbating. The first way, guys, is when you feel tempted. This is why it's important to guard your mind with the word of God, okay, the, the helmet of salvation, okay, so when you're feeling tempted, remember, every single human being on earth went through temptations, even Jesus Christ went through temptations, okay, the devil should tempt him, so best believe the devil should try to tempt you too, okay, so this is in James chapter 1 verse 12, it says, blessed is a man that endures temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised that to them that love him, okay, so always understand, every time you pass that test, every time you pass that test, all right, every time uh, the temptation is coming in, and I got another verse to go over in a bit, but every time that happens, understand that you are blessed. You endure the temptations and you're getting spiritually stronger. You know how people go to the gym and there's nothing wrong with going to the gym, so don't get the wrong message. But let's say people go to the gym, they're getting strong physically. Okay, our bodies, when we get older, it's going to decay, you know, so all that's going to be a waste. But how do you build yourself spiritually? Okay, that's what matters. We can't see how strong we are spiritually. You know, we, we can't see it, but we know when we're building our spirit up, by abstaining from, you know, certain sins, especially from not, not just masturbation or porn or like that, but just sins in general, we are getting spiritually stronger. So always keep that in mind, man. When it comes to the temptations, God will, oh, oh, I'm going too fast. I'm going too fast. All right. Also, before I go to number two, what society, what this matrix is promoting is instant gratification. They want you, and this is why people don't have the attention span to watch a long video. Um, because now, you know, so TikTok is like, what, 60 seconds long, YouTube shorts, Snapchats, like it's only like 30, 60 seconds, I believe. I don't have TikTok, so I'm not exactly sure, but from that, what I've seen is like 60 seconds. Everything is instant. If people don't get it instantly, they don't want it no more. And that's the death of dreams. That's the death of hope. That is the death of your spirit. When you just want something instantly, you don't want to wait. You don't want to be patient because patience is the fruit of the spirit. Okay. So th this society, this system wants you to be so driven by your flesh, okay? That's how they control you. When you're in your flesh, you are weak, okay? Always understand that. Number two is to guard your eyes. This is so key, guys, to guard your eyes. This is in Psalms chapter 101, verse three, okay? This is David speaking. He says, I will set no wicked thing before my eyes. I hate the work of them that turn aside. It shall not cleave unto me, okay? So David made a covenant with God that that he will set um, his eyes upon no wicked thing. Okay, when you're watching porn, when you're watching two individuals have sex with each other, that is wicked, that is demonic. You are opening demonic strongholds in your mind the more you tap into that. Best believe, guys. No one really talks about this, but this is the truth. Okay, you are, you are enabling demonic strongholds in your mind every time you watch porn, every time you're watching someone else have sex with each other. Think about that's not normal for humans to do that. Okay, so you always want to guard your eyes, okay? And whenever those temptations do kick in, remember, or I said, remember, I have a video. I actually did make a video on this. Um, I think it was like a year ago or a couple months or like five, seven, eight months ago, somewhere around that. And I was talking about how Jesus freed me from my porn addiction. Uh, addiction. I'll leave a link in the end screen if you guys want to check that out. Um, and it's been four years since I've been freed. So I truly believe if I've been freed from that, you could be free too. You know, whoever's, whoever, uh, the tr whoever knows the truth and you shall be free, okay? And then you should know the truth and the truth shall set you free, okay? So you always want to understand that the truth is what you need, okay? And you got to always keep in mind that into the back of your mind, there is no benefit. I'm only destroying myself. I'm only getting instant gratification. I'm only getting that too. Once you get that, you know, once you get it off, you feel, at least me, you know, I, I feel shame. I feel guilt. I feel conviction. I feel empty. 
you know, so it's never worth it. Okay, so you always want to guard your eyes, and also when you're when you're you know, because when you, when you go outside and watch TV, when you go on social media, it's like everything that they're portraying to you is is lust, it's sex, it's perversion. You know, they're pushing that to you, and the more and when when you're always feeding your eyes that, you're opening your eye gates, and now you're gonna want to start doing that. Okay, this is all matrix, all to get you driven by your flesh. Okay, so we want to guard your eyes. Set no wicked thing upon you, uh, upon your eyes, you know. So if there's a is if you're kind of weak, right? And there's like a Netflix show you're watching, a movie show you're watching, um, a YouTuber, an Instagram page, and you see, you know, they're showing off their body, and you find yourself, you know, falling into your lust because of that. You should stop watching that TV show. You should unfollow that person. Um, you should, you know, separate yourself from whatever that's causing you to fall to fall short. Okay, so always keep that in mind. The next verse I want to go over is Psalms uh, 119 verse 37. It says, "Turn away my eyes from beholding vanity, and quicken thou me in thy way." Okay, so turn away my eyes from beholding vanity. All right, so that's number two. Number three is every temptation. God will always provide a way out. Okay, this is so important, and I have so many testimonies on this. Especially when I went to, I will never forget this. I went to Vegas in 2018 and man, the temptations, I mean, I understand why they call that, they call that place a sin city. Like I get it, bro. Nothing but adulterers and uh, adulteress. Okay. So this is 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 13. It says, there has no temptation taking you, but such as common to man, but God is faithful who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able, but with the temptation also make a way to escape that you may be able to bear it. Okay. Every time temptation kicks in god will always provide a way out i and i remember this i remember testimonies on testimony there was times where god provided me a way out from temptation and i just willfully you know i was like you know i i don't i'm, I'm not gonna obey you god you know i'm not I'm, I'm you know i'm my flesh is getting the best of me and that led to my destruction okay that led to me um tr leading to my own understanding that led me to me going to my own pit and i reap what i sowed Okay, so always keep that in mind. God will provide a way for tension to uh, way out of temptation for you. You and, and if you do fall, if you don't, if you do, okay, God is graceful, He's merciful, but you you don't want to abuse that, okay? Because now you gain wisdom. Remember, the Bible says to in order to be wise, you got to first become a fool. Okay, that's in one Corinthians chapter three, verse eighteen to twenty. Okay, so in order to be wise, you got to first become a fool. So I had to do foolish things, so and I'm able to teach you that. Okay, I'm able to teach you all that. So always keep that in mind. God will always provide a way out of temptation. Okay, that's in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. Okay, next one up is to focus on the reward. Okay, when you're sowing righteousness, um, when you're sowing to your spirit, when you're seeking God's kingdom daily, when you're seeking his righteousness, uh, when you're doing the best you can, best believe, you're doing the best you can to be obedient. Best believe that God has a reward for you, okay? There's a reward for righteousness and a reward for unrighteousness. The Bible talks about that, and I'm gonna go over that verse in a bit. But when you sow into your spirit, when you sow into righteousness, there is a reward. So count it all joy when you when you dodge those temptations. You dodge those temptations like you're Neo in the Matrix. You just you know you Neo. You're the chosen one, right? You dodging the agents, all that, right? So always keep that in mind. Every time you are dodging temptation, every time you are dodging the the enemy's bullets, okay, there is a reward, and you're staying on that path. Always keep that in mind. So this is the verse I want to give you guys. This is in Hosea chapter 10, verse 12. It says, sow into yourself in righteousness, reap in mercy, break up your fowl's ground, for it is time to seek the Lord till he come and rain righteousness upon you. Ooh. Okay, next one up. Hold on, hold on. I got another one up. Proverbs chapter 11, verse 18 says, the wicked work a deceitful work, but to him that sold righteousness shall be a sure reward. Okay, so to you, to y'all brothers who are, you know, staying on sea merchant, staying on no fat, okay? Maybe y'all are married, so you're, you know, you're staying on no fat, okay? Uh, you're not giving over, you're not giving over to to doing that type of stuff, to doing that perversion, because you understand there is a cost of, a, uh, not just a spiritually cost, but also a cost of destroying your body, bro. You're losing your testosterone, you're, you're aging quicker, you know, all this type of stuff, you're, you know, you're losing energy, because best believe that's, that's, that's one of the best benefits of semen retention. And no fap is your energy is boosted, okay? So always keep that in mind. The wicked work, you deceitful work, but to him that sold righteousness, I'll sure be a reward. And yes, if you fall into your temptation, I gotta make this very clear too. If you do fall into your temptation, um, if you do fall into your lust, get back up, brother or sister, because we all do. Get back up. Don't make no excuses and, and be a warrior for God, man. Be a warrior. No excuses. Maybe start doing some fasting, get into some heavy prayer, start meditating on the word. That's what we should have to be doing to build our spirit back up, okay? Number five is fleshly pleasures are never worth it. Guilt, oh, sorry, yeah, fleshly pleasures are never worth it. No, and as, like I said, for me, 
Uh, it always just brought guilt. It always just brought shame. It always just brought disgust. But it also, it brought me to repentance. Okay, uh, godly sorrow worked repentance. Okay, so always understand that. So it brought, and this all led me to let me write that down because it's key. Where did my marker go? My marker just disappeared, huh? Okay, I guess it just disappeared. <laughs> all right, whatever. Anyways, so yeah, it led me. It led me to you know repentance. Okay, and this is in one John chapter uh, six. Or sorry, 1 John chapter 2, verse 16, it says, For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, is not of the Father, but is of this world. Okay, so always understand that the fleshly pleasures are never worth it. Understand the consequences, and, you know, what do you gain afterwards, okay, after you get it off? Y'all know what I'm trying to talk about. I'm trying to keep it PG as much as I can. But you don't feel anything. You just feel that temporary dopamine, and afterwards, you just feel shame and conviction, especially if you're a follower of Christ. That's what you're going to feel like, and hopefully you do. You know, that's, that's the Holy Spirit conviction. And that's a good thing, you know, but you don't want to be, you know, given over to that to, you know, because they're never worth it. There's no, there's nothing that you gain. There's only that fleshly reward, which is profits nothing. Okay. Number six is to feed your spirit more than the flesh. Okay. This is very important, guys. My marker really just disappeared. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Man, I really want to put repentance, but y'all, y'all hear me saying it. All right. But anyways, and number six is feed your spirit more than your flesh. Okay. Now, now this Bible verse is so key. Okay, this is in Galatians chapter 5, verse 16 to 17. It says, This I say then, walk in the spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusts against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And all these things are contrary to the one another, so that you will not do the things that you would. Okay, so the more you feed your flesh, or so, the more, yeah, the more you feed your flesh, you're weakening and draining your spirit. And the more you feed your spirit, the more you build up your spirit, you're weakening your flesh, which is a good thing. You want your flesh to be weak and your spirit to be strong. Okay, so always feed your uh, your spirit up. Maybe start start like I said, guys, prayer and fasting. That's one of the things that I I practice that help build up my spirit. Okay, and of course being obedient. You know, walking in the spirit, so we won't fulfill the lust of the flesh. Okay, and so yeah, feed your spirit more than your flesh. The next one up, number seven, is you want to stay busy. This is key, bro. This is key. Okay, you want to stay busy and stay active. Okay, I noticed when I was in my house all day. Maybe it was raining. Um, whatever the, maybe, whatever the case may be, I was in the house all day for, you know, now, not just one day, but I'm talking about like for weeks on now, I, I find myself a little bit being overly isolated. That's when the temptations kick in. So you always want to find something, stay busy, you know, stay, stay active, do something, do something productive, productive in your life. Let's say, uh, maybe you like to go to the gym. Okay. Uh, start going more, you know, or maybe you're a YouTuber, you know, start making more videos, start making more content, stay busy, transmute that energy you're getting from seeing attention to do something productive, to do, you know, there, nowadays you could do um, anything nowadays through the, through the internet, okay, you, if you like to play video games, m make a gaming channel, okay, you know, per, be productive, you don't want to just be in your bed all day on your, on your phone, and then you, you find yourself, you know, eventually opening up that website, so always be busy, be productive. Try to limit your time on the bed or on a chair. You really always want to work, okay? Maybe work overtime on your job. You know, be disciplined. You know, practice discipline. I'm telling you, brothers, this is this is what's gonna get us to unlock our spirit, to get us to new levels. Discipline, sacrifice. Okay, these are the seven ways, the seven biblical ways to stop masturbating. Number one, when you feel tempted. Number two is guard your eyes. Number three is every temptation God will always provide a way out. Number four is to focus on the reward. Number five is fleshly pleasures are never worth it. You know, you feel guilt, shame, and disgust, which leads to repentance. I don't know where market went. Number six is feed your spirit more than your flesh. Number seven is stay busy and stay active, okay? And stay disciplined and be willing to sacrifice, okay? I hope you guys learned something from this video. If you made this far, make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel. I love you guys so much. I'm out. Peace.